When you're fasting, don't neglect the more important matters. Fasting should be a part of the believer's life. But if you're fasting and neglecting the most important matters, you're doing it wrong. Are you with me? When you're fasting, make sure that you set the captives free. Is this not the kind of fasting I have chosen? To loose the chains of injustice, to untie the cords of the yoke, to set the oppressed free, and to break every yoke. Can we stop right there and just say, let the worship gathering be a place where the chains fall off people's lives, where the yoke of oppression is broken, where we set the oppressed and the captives free. Have you ever been in a church that instead of setting people free, they put people in bondage? where you can't do this and you can't do that and you can't do this and you can't do that. And if you, well, oh my God, if you play cards, I'm telling you right now, you're going to hell. You can't go watch movies. You're going to go to hell. It's all this list of stuff you can and can't do. I mean, no, we need to be a people who are living in the freedom that Jesus brings us. Amen. If you do away with the yoke of oppression, with the pointing finger and malicious talk, have you ever met anybody? They love to look out the window to assign blame and look in the mirror to get credit. How many know as God's people, we should be doing exactly the opposite? But our culture is so good, we're good at pointing fingers. And you know, you know where we got it from, right? From our first parents. Adam, is it true that you ate from the fruit? And what did Adam do? Rather than standing in and taking, accepting responsibility, what did he, what did he do? Pointed the finger, right? Just shifting blame. Point, it was that woman you gave me. It was her fault, right? It was her fault. It was all the woman's fault. God looks to Eve and says, is it true? Is it your fault? What does she do? She pointed the finger. It's the serpent's fault. This blame shifting, it's pretty popular in our culture, but it, it, in, in the context here, it's the accusatory tone that people take, and it's generally being malevolent. Malevolent is just being malicious, and mean-spirited toward people and being nasty. If you're eating carrot sticks and being nasty, you're doing it wrong. We need to stop being people who shift blame and point fingers and are nasty and malevolent and be people instead who are benevolent, where we're kind and generous, where we're slow to anger. Somebody help me now. Are you the type of person when you're in a heated situation that you like to pour gasoline on the heated situation? Or are you the person who pours water on the heated situation? 